Hey there, this is Doug Peterson with Carolina Rural Homes. I want to bring you today another tip for sellers. If you're thinking of selling your home, there are a variety of ways to sell a home. And one of the ways that you need to be careful of is the path called subject to financing. Now, what is subject to financing? It's similar to owner financing, which another one of our tips talked about. You want to be careful of that as well. But this is a little different twist on that. You'll have uh, people come to you, whether it's an investor or, you know, it's one of these we buy houses type people. They'll come to you and they'll say, hey, we want to buy your house. We want to buy it fast. And they start the process of getting the house under contract and getting you all excited that you're going to be able to sell your house. And then a little bit down the road, they start to tell you, well, uh, we don't have the cash. We don't have a bank loan. We, we weren't able to get a bank loan. But hey, I tell you what we can do. We can take over your payments for you. See, you have a loan on your house and you're making payments and your credit is good and you've been making those payments or even if your credit isn't good and you're behind on your payments, it doesn't matter. You still want to be careful of people that say, we'll take over your payments. And here are a few reasons why. Number one, it often is illegal. You see, most of the banks today absolutely refuse to allow an unknown entity, an unknown person, a third party to come over and take over payments. They don't want that to happen. They have written into the law, into their contracts, the contract that they have with you, that you cannot bring a third party in to assume your payments, to take over your payments, to do a subject to, in other words, they're gonna buy the house subject to the loan staying in place. Now, why does the bank not want that to happen? Why is it illegal for that to happen? Because the bank, many sometimes it can be considered mortgage fraud. The bank wants to know who they have a loan with and who is making payments on that loan. And if you get an investor that comes in and, and twists your arm and convinces you to take over your payments, then what happens is potentially both of you have committed fraud with this mortgage because you have deceived the bank. They thought you were the one that qualified for the loan. They thought you were the one who's making payments for the loan. And now suddenly it's somebody else. Okay, that's problem number one. Problem number two is this. What happens if this person takes over your payments, sign, you sign over the deed to them. Now they own the house, but guess who is still on the hook for the loan? Guess who's still on the hook for the payments? You are. Because they're not going to change the loan into their name. All they're going to do is try to twist your arm to get the uh, coupons or the payments sent to them so then they can make the payments. And then they're going to come up with some convoluted way to get the insurance added to their name, and, and they're gonna do all this in a way that is deceptive with the bank and keeping the bank unknown uh, in what's happening. So that's another problem. A, a third problem is this, what happens if they stop paying the loan? Who's gonna be in trouble? You are. The bank is then going to perform a foreclosure, not on them because they're not on the loan. They own the house, but you own the loan. So the bank will foreclose on you and destroy your credit. Their credit is not on the hook at all. Does that sound like a problem? Absolutely, that's a problem. Uh, the other thing to think about in this situation, it, it really can get weird, is that you are on the hook for the loan. They own the house. And guess what they usually do? They don't move into the house. They rent the house out to somebody else. Okay, so what happens if they stop paying? So they stop paying, and it even gets worse. Sometimes what they do is they collect rent from their tenant. So they're making money on the rent month after month after month. But let's suppose they stop paying. Now the bank starts to foreclose on you, <clears throat> You have to find a way to get that tenant out of your house. Well, actually, it's not your house. It's now in their name. But in order to, for the bank 
to foreclose on the loan. They need to get the tenant out of that house, which could take months and in some states years to get the tenant out. So this person that came to you and took over your payments could now be collecting rent for months or years from this tenant. The tenant never leaves. You're getting foreclosed on for the loan. This person over here is collecting rent money and not paying you or the bank any of the mortgage that is in your name. They're making money left and right. Meanwhile, you're losing money and you're getting sued for foreclosure on the loan. Does this sound like a mess? It is a mess. And it's not something you want to get into. You want to deal with a reputable company. A company that when they say they're going to buy your home, they don't come with all these owner financing schemes. Instead, they come to you with cash. They say, here's our offer. We're making a cash payment on this house. And that's the kind of transaction that you want to look for. If you're interested in doing business with us, you can contact us at carolinaruralhomes.com. This has been Doug Peterson with another tip for you, the sellers. Thank you.